What are you doing? You're knee hawking. Knee hockey. Knee hockey. There we go. Yeah. That's better. All right, now we can hear everybody. All right, yeah, and now we're getting a lot of people. Here. For some reason, that stream, the Facebook's got a weird kind of coding issue going on when uh, when you try to do stuff a lot with, like, I guess I must be trying to push too much data through Facebook. I don't know if they can keep up, which is hard to believe. Um, but for some reason, every now and then, about every one out of 10 or 15 streams we do, all of a sudden, I can see everything I can type. I just can't see if anybody's watching. I can't see any of your responses. So it's weird. We actually start getting like Facebook notifications on actual Facebook um, that like people are liking our videos and responding to our videos, but I can't see what they're saying. So it's uh, very interesting to say the least. All right. If you guys want this opened up or broken in any particular order on boxes, I don't know if anybody's superstitious. We are. Yeah. Right to left, left to right, top to bottom, back to front. Snake style, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there we go. I'm going to arrange these in order like that. There's the five boxes. You guys want them opened in a particular order? Let me know. Well, there's only three people in the stream. Anybody, if anybody has a particular order, let us know. If not, we'll, uh, we'll just work our we'll do the right to left. I don't usually do left, right. I'll do right to left. That'll be next. <laughs> Go over the roster for those of us who are those who are just joining us. Uh, four person personal break of uh, five boxes sealed in her. Uh, Black Diamond. It's going to be a good one. Cody Feld Blom's got Avs, Rangers, Chicago Flyers, Blue Jackets, Buffalo and the Ducks. Philippe Nassimeno, the Devils, the Canadians, Vegas, Bruins, Islanders, San Jose, Flames and Wild. Lee domizak has got the Nucks, Capitals, Penguins, Tampa Bay Lightning, Kings, Winnipeg, Florida Panthers, Hurricanes. And Bad Yorkie, Hard Breaks. He's got Oilers, Detroit Leafs, Senators, Coyotes, Nashville, Dallas and St. Louis. Pretty even spread across the board. Yeah, we'll go right to left. Let's do it. All right, let's get after it. Aiden, you going to watch the stream chat for me? Nope. You going to come over and watch the cards? Oh, yeah. It smells like essential oils down here. It's great. Pop the trash. Get it ready. There's the first box coming up. Get our decoy ready. Get our... Load up the way station. Load up the way station. Great. Thick packs. Heavy packs, heavy blocks. All right, here we go. Let me make sure this is. So I can see everybody. Cool. All right, first box. This is a fun break. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Might be. 70, oh, is it? Or 73rd video? Oh, that's a yeah, heavy pack. Way station. Oh, that is. Hayden's like excited when I told him we were doing a break this morning. He was like, yeah, it's kind of too early. And then I told him we had eight teams in it. And he uh, immediately jumped up and ran downstairs to take a look and see what we had. So he's excited about it. All right, here comes the exquisite. Remember last night when we accidentally opened that one first? That was, what, two, that was two nights ago. Yeah. Two nights ago, yeah. So I've done that a couple times. Get to talk and stop, stop paying attention. All right, here's the exquisite out of the first box of Black Diamond. Philip Zadina. That's us, bud. 34 out of 75. That's not a bad one to pick up. All right, we'll take it. I know what I do need to do now. Go ahead and get me a whole bunch of one. Give me all those 180s. Let's get the 180s ready. Because we're going to need them. This is going to be almost all 180s coming out of this. Uh... Yeah. Zadina starts it off. The exquisite rookie. Good start. Oh my goodness. My left hand is asleep this morning. 
gonna need more uh need to reach out and get in the supplies box and grab some more thick penny slaves. Alright. We're gonna take this nice and easy. I will be protecting these as they come out for you guys. We reach down underneath our table here and grab some thick card sleeves because we're gonna need them. Yeah, we will. We're gonna keep there's gonna be some big big cards coming. Trade that card too. Yeah, maybe. Steve. Steve's watching. Yeah. All right, here we go. Black diamond time. Let's get after it. Yes. Steve, was that was that you, man? I saw a post this morning about. I saw a post this morning. Sound like you got some mail snatched yesterday. You guys figure that out? Uh, I that's terribly unfortunate because I think. Oops. Hold on. There we go. Bring it back. Terribly unfortunate because we uh we I think we your big box should have from us should have got to you either yesterday or the oh here we go oh here we go <laughs> here we go should have got to you yesterday or tonight um real sorry about that hopefully uh, after this um do you want we can make sure that that box that I sent you on Monday the big box uh, is still in route or see where it's at. Um, did they take any other mail from you? Because we've had that, we've had a, we've gotten delivery notifications a couple times where our mailman, uh, says it, says it got delivered, but he actually like put it in the wrong mailbox or put, gave it to our neighbor and like within a day it, it shows up. It just made him, a mailman made a mistake, but I, I'm terribly unfortunate, buddy. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. You could give him that card. That's, uh, that's just not, that's not good. That's not what we like to, like to hear. All right. Let's get going. Black diamond time. Who's ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Coming up first box or first first up. Sorry. Coffee's kicking in. Nathan McKinnon. 126 out of 249. Nathan McKinnon. Nate McKinnon. I don't even, I can't remember what card it was that uh he posted it got stole. I think it might have been a Hiroshi. It got it got snagged. Sad. I don't think we have any Hiroshi's. We'll have to check. We're still trying to track down that Hiroshi Pride of a Nation. Will you grab me some 100s? Nate McKinnon. Cody Felt Blonde picking up that one. Yeah, 100s, please. Go. Get that put into a 100. And as you can see, folks, uh, first box, and we already got some Black Border action coming on. Black border action coming on. All right. Uh, give us a thumbs up. You can still hear us, uh, Cody, Lee, or Philippe, and then we'll get going because the next card up is the black border, black diamond something. I want to make sure we're all tuned in. You can hear us just fine before we pull it. Okay, give me a second to take a drink of coffee. All right. Sounds like everybody can hear us. Here we go. Second card coming out right now. Hayden's excited. We are pulling a... Oh, my God. There it is, Lee. We just talked about it. Wow. Lee Domzak. Did we not just talk about this when we were shooting the rosters? Why Diamond Ovechkin, three of five. Jeez, believe me. Oh. My goodness. Are you touching that? Yeah, I'm touching that. Are you kidding me? I don't have a choice. Four diamonds inside of that card. No wonder. Oh my it's god, don't No wonder it's so heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. Lee. Man, you guys. Jumping in the right break at the right time. Did we not just talk about this this morning? Holy smokes, buddy. Uh, well, there's number... Uh, I'm sorry, we haven't really taken a look at it yet, but I, my priority right now is to get this thing... Uh, <laughs> because we're going to be looking at it for a second, so I'm getting this bad boy wrapped up right now for you. What a card. What a card. Hirsch. Holy smokes. Hirsch. Yes, sir. Three of five. Ovi Quad Diamond. 
That's the first box for you, folks. Holy smokes. Who knows what could come out? <laughs> Lee said he's done. Lee's done. He said we can have the rest. Quad Diamond Ovechkin, three of five? Are you kidding me? Yeah, let's take a closer look, because uh, as you can see, I, I put in a one-touch for you immediately. Yeah, I would, uh, I would get this thing fired off to Beckett pretty quick. That's beautiful. Is that a beautiful card? Is that the greeting company? Yeah, or Beckett, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of nice. All right. Amazing. <laughs> Next card coming up right now. Zadina Team Logo Jumbo. We'll take it. Another Philip Zadina. Another Philip Zadina. I, gotta, I guess we're going to keep those one touch sleeves here because we were pulling some significantly awesome cards. Uh, man, who would have thought? Yeah, 180, buddy. That's not, that's a 100. Yep, there you go. Who would have thought? I guess we did think it. We just, nobody ever believes it when we talk about pulling a quad diamond. Movie. My goodness. Ovechkin. We just said we, we, you know, we have a hard time pulling Ovechkins or uh, pulling any capitals, but we talked about this morning. We literally said, somebody said, I want a quad diamond Ovechkin. I said, I'd like to see some Oshi uh, as something. Fifth card coming up. Hey, Bill Ranford. Ooh. Oilers, 73 and 90. Not too bad. I was actually just talking to somebody about Bill Ranford cards this morning. I did a lot of talking this morning, in case you guys didn't realize it. I was up pretty early, and uh, Hayden and Jenny were still asleep, so I was down here kind of planning this out, building out the crib on the on the spreadsheet for it, and then uh, also um, talking to a few people about potentially doing some trades with some uh, some inventory we have here that we don't it, necessarily personally collect. Yeah, we pulled a Gretzky one of these a little bit ago. Really? Yeah, a couple... You were there. We pulled it last week for us. All right, next up is going to be for the Bruins. Seneshin going to Fleet Nascimento. Rookie Gems. Pretty cool. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but everybody hits something in that box. So, equal distributing. Distribu I wouldn't say equal. Uh, somebody's got a $1,000 card sitting on the table right now. <laughs> Potentially. Uh, but uh, equitable is is a better fashion for it. Uh, Senishin, one ten out of three ninety nine. So there's a there's a card for Philippe. Yeah, you did. We got an Abs right here. Abs. We got Abs rookie gem or uh, Bruins rookie gem. Abs. So everybody's broken the ice. A Zadina exquisite rookie. Zadina, yeah. I think we took we took three out of the first box for two different teams. And then I don't even know what to do with this. Like, I'm just going to, oh, man, I, I feel like it needs to be here. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, we're just going to lean it back here. Because I don't, besides the fact that I have to have Geico uh, up my homeowner's insurance this afternoon. That is sick. In 20 years, you should take that for sponsor. Kyle, Kyle said he wished you could have got in on this. Well, uh, i tell you what, bud, like, I like this. You, Lee and Philippe and, uh, and Cody, you chime in, bud, uh, buds, but... Uh, this is sick. Like, I like this little personal break format we just did with like three or four or five people. Um, I'm all about doing these as often as you guys want to. We can do them with other products as well, too. Um, I'm going to burn through my Black Diamond inventory doing this, but uh, this, is, this is a pretty cool format so far. So. In 20 years, you should take that to Pawn Stars. Yeah, take the OV to Pawn Stars. Quad Diamond Ovechkin. Baby. I thought it was Look just like that. a single guy. I didn't know what, yeah, this has got, I mean, that's got four solid diamonds in it. Three out of five. Right down the middle. Remember when we pulled a Lemieux um, purple diamond? <sighs> Wait, honey, for that OV? Yeah. Yeah. I think th uh, four or five people's about the sweet spot for this one. Otherwise, we're going to get some people, I mean... I, I mean, you guys know the math. We're transparent. Like, you guys, we've done enough breaks on this page. You can see what the teams are worth in something like this, and you can see what the buy-in is, the value. Um, three or four or five people, it's expensive, but you know you're going to get something significant. I mean, with Black Diamond, there's, everyone's a hit, but there's going to be a significant hit that probably goes to every team. Or, I'm sorry, every, every at least every player in the game at that point. Um, once we get above six or seven or eight people, we potentially have people buying into it, you know, for... Upwards of $100, $150. I, I mean, I can't, 100, we'll say $125, but 
which is expensive and he might get the, the, the more people they get in the better chance of getting skunked altogether is i mean it's one thing to i mean at least i i get to i, I see it from our side i can completely understand sympathize with anybody who does that but you put 125 dollars towards a break and you get skunked with one team uh, it's understandable but if you you know you get skunked with three or four teams um it's it's kind of hard to swallow and then but at least i mean with black diamond you know even the the base cards are going for you know ten to fifteen dollars a piece. So I love Black Diamond. I love Black Diamond. Yeah, one one would have been sick. We're due for another one on one. All right, let's get going. Rock and roll. Here's your exquisite pack, and here's a oh way station that bad boy. Oh yeah. I think that might have a five diamond. Five diamond, like a five, five star general, super rare. There's only one, only one in the world at any given time. All right, here comes the exquisite pack for box number two. I'm, I'm, not, ready. Uh, I'm not ready either. <laughs> I love ex the exquisites; they're pretty. They're pretty good. Rookie draft day. Oh, for the Jets. Keith, Keith Kachuk, forty-seven and ninety-nine. That's a cool-looking card. Who's got the Jets? Um, who's got the Jets? Winnipeg, Winnipeg, yeah. Winnipeg. Lee Baumazak has the Jets. All right. 47 of 99. Keith Kachuk, centerman for the Jets. To go with, to go with your OV. Is these, uh, these thick sleeves. You want to grab a 180 for me? Me in the back. These sleeves are giving me a. All the of way over today. here, we have three boxes. Yeah, off camera, ready to go. And then, a, what, a oh, thousand boxes next to them over there on the shelf? Keith Kachuk. Never know when you could run out. Lee. All right. Hirsch. Hirsch. Rock and roll. It's thick too. It's like stretch. It's it's like one of those packs that stretches the uh, the outside. As you can see, normally there's a huge amount of room to, to trim the top there, but not on this pack. This pack is thick. What about the 360? What? Need a 360 or 620? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, That'd be crazy. Oh, there's a lot in here. And there's another black card sitting down at the bottom so of this one. Thick. They are so thick. All right, folks, give me a thumbs up, guys. You ready for box number two, Black Diamond? We'll get going. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Uh, the old Jets, I don't think, go to the Avs. The Nordiques would go to the Avs, but the Jets carry on to the Jets. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Lee, that's right. The Quebec Nordiques go to the go to the Avs, but the Jets stay stay true to the Jets. We go Jersey Pure on the cards, um, and then when the team doesn't exist anymore, uh, so th what that means is the player, whatever jersey he's wearing, it goes to that team if that's still a current team. Um, and then if the team doesn't, like I say, we pull an Atlanta Thrashers or Nordiques, then we go basically just to the uh, to the Heritage to find out what what team they were in lineage for to support the local one. So. Uh, I think we're good. That's gonna. That's definitely gonna be your card, there, bud. <sighs> All right, we ready? Let's do it. Rock and roll. Plenty of coffee. Plenty of Rasmus Dallin for the Sabers. Nice. Rasmus Dallin for the Sabers. Cody Phillip Blanc. Here comes the two thick. Cards Ten of two forty nine. Yeah, there's. Oh, there's a lot of thick. Three thick cards coming. Four thick cards coming up. There's all, all four cards left are all one eight one eighties or better. Wow, this is this is gonna be a cool box. Add him, add him up. Seven twenty. There's a Rasmus Dallin base going to Cody Phil Blom. Next up, let's pull it. Hey, there's a Fabro for us. Jewel of the draft number three ninety nine. It's actually just looking for one of these cards the other day, and go figure, we pulled in a break. Fabro, appreciate you guys. Uh, not going after one of the best teams in the league right off the bat and let me let me pick up the what was it my my sixth round draft pick to take my my home team <laughs> super excited about that yes sir trash a fabro jewel of the draft that's a cool card i really like the that's fine just carefully all right next up Here's some heat. Nick Suzuki for the Canadians. 
Team Logo Jumbo going to Philippe Nascimento with the Canadians. Nice. All right, give me one thick, and then give me a 180 top loader. Nick Suzuki. <sighs> Thank you. 180. And 180 to go with it. Everything's a hit on these uh these boxes, so we're sleeving up everything. Nick Suzuki. All right, we got a black border coming up right now, folks. What's it gonna be? Oh, oh wow. Philippe Nascimento. Jack Hughes, number one of twenty-five. Tricolor. Holy smokes, Jack Hughes. Wow. There's another, yeah, 180 for sure. There's another card we have to talk about. Holy smokes. Jack Hughes, one of 25. I told you I wasn't ready for this. Man, these are crazy, crazy boxes today. Yeah, I almost bought one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yours now. And you got a premium tricolor patch sitting inside the first run edition of that. All right. Last card coming up right now. Here we go. It's got a little three-dimensional action going to it. How about Blake Wheeler for the Jets? Um, that's Lee Domzak. Blake Wheeler, diamond cutter for the Jets. All right. Let's get going here. Everybody's kind of hitting across the board a bit. But we need to get some we need to get some big hits going for Cody Phil Blom here. I think you got a few base cards so far. We need to get you some hits. Blake Wheeler, Diamond Cutter. Jack Hughes, one of 25. Rookie team logo jumbo. Nick Suzuki. Fabro for the Preds, Jewels of the Draft. Dolan, 10 of 249. And then an exquisite Keith Kachuk. Nice box number two. I don't know if it tops a don't know if it tops a, an OV quad diamond, but that's a good second box. That would be sweet. Oh yeah, they would have put diamonds in there. That would be sweet too. What but I think there is a McDavid quad diamond, same as the OV. There's a McDavid quad diamond out of five out there somewhere. Obviously, there's five of them, but that's that's what they did for McDavid and the diamonds. Um, they did a quad diamond. Yeah, what's out? Of, I know it's out of five. I was looking at the checklist the other day because I was super curious about. Um, they have so much. The checklist for Black Diamond is is not. It's not. It's deep in difference of cards. There's so many different cards you can pull out. But there's uh there's not a ton of uh players. It's just a, it's got so much. Yeah, we yeah, we oh yeah. We top that OV quad diamond. This would be a crazy, crazy sealed inner. All right, exquisite coming up right now for box number three. I'm not ready. You're not ready? Get ready. Got the decoy ready. It's a rookie. It's an exquisite rookie. We know that. Could be anybody. For Vegas, Cody Glass, 23 of 249. Philip Nascimento takes this one. Nice. Philip Nascimento with VGK taking the Cody Glass exquisite collection. Right off the bat. All right. Let's move into some Black Diamond. Box number three. Box number three. Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We haven't pulled a light one yet, have we? Not as heavy so. as the other one. What? Let's see what we got here. The cards, lots of potential. Five cards there. Nice. I know a guy clutch glass might might be a nice trade for the Hughes. Agreed. Those uh, these Cody glasses are really pretty because I think Vegas just has overall beautiful uh, jersey. But the ones that have the tricolor patch in the bottom, those are beautiful, fantastic. 
All right, first card coming out. Hey, there's a Jack Eichel. There's another one for Cody Phil Blom. Go to the Sabres, 209 out of 249. Jack Eichel, base card. Buffalo Sabres. Buffalo Sabres. We got a Jack Eichel number 15 jersey right behind us on the wall. Not a number nine, though. Apparently, he when he went to the Sabres, he took 15, and then as soon as what's-his-name left, he took the nine jersey back. Next up, I don't remember who it was that left. Somebody left. Fabro, silver on black for Nashville. We'll take it. Rookie Sigs. That's big signature. That is big signature. Fabro went crazy on that card. For Nashville. Silver on black. Silver on black. Little, little, uh, out of 99, 50. Oh, that's a 58. If only it was a 57. No, I'm just kidding. It's a beautiful card. 57 would be super cool, though. A good one, good one to have. Butte, give me Schult RPA 49 for trilogy. So hey, uh, get brace yourselves because we got some trilogy coming. In fact, I'm going to going with Hayden and his friend here in what about an hour to pick up all of our stuff from our shipment number two. Ship number one should be dropped off from our new New York distributor. Big contract we signed with them uh, three days ago, which includes anything we want two day over or two day air shipped. From them, from New York to to Alaska, in our contract, so uh, we can get just any about anything you want. Now it's that's pretty much guaranteed. They are the biggest distributor in the continental United States, um, and we can get anything you guys want in under forty eight hours to Alaska. Uh, and, but we're also going to support our local distributor as well by picking up a whole bunch of stuff from him today. And uh, cats out of the bag, I'll tell you right now, we are picking up trilogy because I can't get over that box that Sean Heckman had me open for the other day. All right, next up. Is it the, um, where we bought? Yeah. Mm hmm Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Quinn Hughes, Team Logo Jumbo, Lee Domnizak. Nice card. Nice card. There's your, there's your, your, your slot number one. Finally pulling something. Slot numero uno. Pulling a Quinn Hughes Team Logo Jumbo. Is Going it, right into a 180. Is numero slot? No, number. He's at number one. Yeah, we're going to be, so I'm off today and Monday. So this is day number one of a four day weekend for me. I've got some very, very interesting breaks I'm about to launch, uh, but I, we got to get those other two closed. One of them is very close to going to a mini and the other one uh, is, is getting, is, you know, it's, it's, it's filling, but it's slow. Uh, it's like the midweek hump. Once we get those going, like I said, I can have two open at a time. And I want to do a lot of uh, what I'd like to do this weekend is I'd like to do some back to back three boxers that fill quickly with a whole variety of artifacts and trilogy and black diamond, SBX, SB game used, and some other stuff, whatever I can find at the distributor today that I can talk them into giving us. Um, we're going to mix it up this weekend. Uh, but we got to, we got kind of got to unclog the, the group with those two breaks that are open right now because I, I can't have more than two open at a time. The, the group just won't support it. All right. Card number four coming out right now is another Vancouver. There's another Lee Domnizak hit. 106 out of, Hughes? yeah, it's another Quinn Hughes. 106 out of 349 Diamond Debut Relics. Another Quinn Hughes. They come in, they seem to come in pairs and, and tries here. And last card coming out of the third box. There's a Jack Hughes for Philip Nascimento. 224 to 399 Black Diamond Rookie Gems. Three Hughes in this box. Two of the Hughes, same Hughes. Aiden's running our statistics for us. There you go. Third box. Jack Hughes. Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes. Dante Fabro. The Sabres. And Vegas. For Philippe Nascimento. Another box where everybody hits a card. All right. Fourth box coming up here shortly. After I get some more top loaders ready to go. So many cards. So many cards. <sighs> back to back use. Back to back to back use. Yeah. Our distributor from New York is none other than David Adams. Just inked a deal with them this week. 
our biggest concern is just keeping the supply going for some of the stuff that we uh we'd like to we we push a lot of these breaks specifically for black diamond and stuff like that so they've got a direct uh direct stream to upper deck that we're going to take advantage of uh without us having to open up because our next step would be opening up a distributor account ourselves um and then you know with my schedule in the, in the military uh so far it's been good with this covid thing but any you know if, if if, uh, if you know my schedule gets busy, I don't know that we can support holding open an uh, actual distributor account like like what Dave Adams. We're going to go, uh, yeah, we're going to go through them as a, as a, they're going to act as our intermediary in negotiations with Upper Deck for us, uh, which works out great for everybody because Dave and Adams has got some uh, obviously some some massive horsepower is the, is the largest uh, retail and distributor um, of Upper Deck in the uh in the lower 48 all right box number four here we go there's an exquisite and there's another super duty black diamond back Caden's kicking in some knee hockey over there let's get this open see what we got here All right, coming up live right now, our fourth exquisite pack of the morning, afternoon for some of you, exquisite collection rookie, another Quinn Hughes, another Vancouver Canuck, Quinn Hughes. Exquisite 166 of 199, exquisite collection rookie card. How many Hugheses can we get? That's a lot. We've we got a lot of Hugheses going on right now. A lot of Hugheses. A lot of Hugheses. You gonna weight check that pack? Oh, what yeah. you think? Just careful. Oh, that is heavy. Back to back to back to back to back to back to back Hughes. All right, folks. Here we go. Fourth black diamond pack of the morning for us. We haven't even hit. Was it not even noon yet? It might be noon actually. Might have just rolled over to noon. We've already opened up four boxes of Black Diamond. That's a good day. It's 12.10. Peyton says it's 12.10. So we just crested noon o'clock. Um, not the same time. Oh, another Black Border card. My oh goodness. My, God. my goodness. That's the third Black Border card we've had in this box, folks. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's the third. That's a solid Black Border there, too. <laughs> yeah, they did. They love the Hughes brothers. I think everybody does now, though. Like they, they, those two are just a dynamite, dynamite pair for the NHL. Can't wait to see this this playoff strategy come come happening with the, between those two teams. All right, first card coming out of this fourth pack of Black Diamond is going to the Flames. That's going to Calgary, and that's going to Philippe Nascimento. Jer Jerome Iginla. Oh, we actually just watched a thing on Iginla last night. We were talking about the 2004 Stanley Cup and that goal that every, that they always they've been contesting for about 16 years. Jerome Iginla, monster player right there, Where, number four of 249. Where no one knows what if it went in. Yeah, remember they were remember when we watched they were showing last night the computer aided from it, it was amazing to see the computer aided uh, diagrams they had from 2004. I mean, it looks like something that somebody did on Microsoft Paint. From far away, it looks like it's in, but close up, it's like right yeah. The Would they call it perspective? They called it a oh, parallax effect. Same thing we use in like sniper scopes and and, and sniper rifles. Uh, the parallax effect. All right, I believe the black border card is up next. I don't know what it is. Could be big. Could be medium. Could be anything. Oh. Or it could be a Blue Jackets hit. How about Cody Phil Blom hitting something? Finally, buddy. Elvis Merz Lickens, eighty-two and ninety-nine. That's the second. <laughs> Diamond card we pulled out of this case. This is awesome. Cody Phillip Blom. There you go, buddy. Good for you guys. Columbus Blue Jackets. Cody Phillip Blom. Big time, bud. Number two of 99 for Elvis Merzlikens. Double diamond, or a single diamond card, but the second diamond card we pulled out of this case. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at this. No wonder this was such a this is such a good case. Wow. Elvis Merzlikens going to Cody Phillip Blanc. It kind of looks like the Hughes though. Yeah, it does, yeah. CPB. Coming in late in the fourth box, but taking it home with a diamond card. 
Cody Phil Blom, CPB. What did I say? CBP? Yeah. Cody Phil Blom. <laughs> get one of Lee's diamonds to Elvis. Yeah. Should we leave? We'll, we'll, well, I'll go get my uh, my little baby jeweler screwdriver. We'll pry out. We'll get him. Uh, we'll get Elvis bumped up to a two diamond. I can maybe gorilla glue it on the front there. Yeah, this has been a good break, boys. A great break. I really, uh, really enjoy these breaks of black diamonds, and I'm glad you guys could share this with us. This is uh, this has been this has been fun so far, and like we said, we still have over a box and a half to go. Four people, I think, is the sweet spot for this bad boy. Next up, Henrik Sedin for Vancouver. Vancouver. Diamond Mine Relic. Yeah, another, another Vancouver. Henrik Sedin. The Sedin Brothers. 33. Henrik Sedin. Recently retired. Yeah, I don't think they were Canucks. The Canucks and Devils and Caps and a little bit of everything going on. Next up, how about a Philip Zadina? There we go. A little Philip Zadina for a Red Wings. 194 out of 249. We'll take it. Another Zadina hit for us. Yeah, they are pretty. They're a little throwback. I think they're throwbacks to 96 or 97 or 97, 98 edition. I looked it up the other day because uh, if you guys were watching over the weekend, we had a half black diamond, half artifacts break we did last weekend. And Jennifer had uh, the Oilers and she hit a Connor McDavid. This exact card, but Connor McDavid auto. Uh, version of it and just blew absolutely blew our minds. Yes, he is. He is a rookie. All right, last card, fourth box. It's going to be a ring card and it's going to be an avalanche. Oh. Joe Sackick. Cody Phil Blom, another one for you, buddy. Joe Sackick, 2012 Hall of Fame ring card. It just keeps going for you guys. This is awesome. Just keeps going. Very nice. All right. Box four doesn't disappoint. Joe Sackick, Zadina, Henrik Sedin, Jerome Ginla, and a Quinn Hughes exquisite rookie. And don't forget the second diamond card of the morning. Single diamond, Elvis Merz Lickens going to Cody Phil Blom. Box four. Yeah. This has been a good break. It's only going to get better. I feel like this last box is like the bonus box, the way everybody's been cleaning up. Beautiful. Two out of four dudes walking home with diamond cards after this. Whole oh. bunch of other huge hits. Maybe, Good night. Maybe some of them are no, they're probably at home watching right now or at work or on their lunch breaks or whatever. Uh, did we hit any Oilers yet? I thought we, yeah, hit... we did. We hit a... we yeah, oh, for Bill Ranford? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Exquisite pack. And then oh, another heavy black diamond pack. Way station. Way station. <laughs> Ooh, beauty. Ooh, beauty. All right, here comes the exquisite pack. Nice, thick, exquisite card in here. I'm making the last. No, no guesses. Let's just let it happen. Let's just let it happen. <laughs> You like you like Jack Hughes this morning? Is that your player of this player of the player of the morning? Jack, 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 Jack Hughes. You sound like Hughes. the kid from Hook. Hughes. Jack, Hughes. Jack, 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 Hughes. Jack, Hughes. Jack. Hughes. Jack. Exquisite collection, extra exquisites. Oh. Seneshin, I believe that's a Bruins hit. Yeah. And that's gonna go to Philip Nascimento. Nice. Fifty-six of seventy-five right wingers, Zach Seneshin for the Bruins. Philip Nascimento. Well done, boys. Well done. Blowing through the 180 Pro this morning. All right, I love how the I love how we we always start out with the exquisite card because they're all so pretty. Even the base exquisites are just such beautiful cards. Such beautiful cards. All right, last black diamond bag coming open right now. Let's get some autos. I feel like we need some more autos in our life right now. I could use some autos. Hayden could use some autos. We got a silver and black. SOB. Bravo. Yeah, we did. The, oh, is a is a, the ninety nine edition too. Here we go. Let's Still pull some. Border. Let's pull some. Uh, let's pull some heat. Mm -hmm. Who's ready? Give me a thumbs up for the last black diamond box, and we'll get going. And you guys can get back to uh, 
get back to what you were doing for the day. Hopefully that involves jumping in our two open breaks and then whatever we have posted next for the weekend. I think we're going to do a couple three boxers, little three box mixers of some new product uh, for the next two. But let's get those other two. Yeah, I, I, I think we have the Coyotes, do. I could use a Barrett Hayden. That'd be sick. Use a Barrett Hayden in my life right now. All right, let's do it. First card, fifth box, coming out right now. Vegas Golden Knights, Marc-Andre Fleury, 193 out of 249. Philip Nascimento. Philippe Nascimento. Beautiful. Very well-designed cards this year from Black Diamond. I know in the past they've, got, they've had some great cards too. Uh, in fact, hint, hint, we're going to get to see here very shortly what the previous years of Black Diamond looked like. Wait, what? That's right. It's coming. <laughs> so we're going to get to see. We've done so much 1920 Black Diamond this year that I feel like we need to tap into the, tap into the past a little bit. How about a King's Bernie Nichols? Black Diamond Sparkling Script. Lee Domizak. That's a cool card. There's a butte right there. Nice emoji. What do you get? Yeah? Oh, it's a big, big old thumb? Yeah, it's huge. A Bernie Nichols auto. I haven't seen one of those yet. These sparkling scripts are beautiful, though. Uh, yes. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful sparkling scripts. Next up, I believe we're pulling a Capo Caco Team Logo Jumbo for the Rangers. Cody Phillip Blom. CPB, Cody Phil Blom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cody Phil Blom. What is his initials? What you said? CPB. That was BFB. No. Next up, coming out right now, how about Philip Myers' rookie gem for the Flyers? There's another Cody Phil Blom pickup. We are out of normal card sleeves. Reaching down into the supplies drawer. Yeah, the empty bag. Yeah. Here we go. Rookie gems. Number 90 of not 80 of 99. Sorry. That reflection got me. 80 of 99. All right, folks. And the last card coming out this morning is some sort of uh, interesting card. What is it? It's going to the Red Wings. Steve Eiserman. Diamond Gallery, Black Diamond. Steve Eiserman. Still involved in the NHL, but we'll take that one home. Well, this was a beautiful break. What a fun one this was. And I really do like how the teams were broken down. I feel like we all got the teams we uh, probably actually wanted. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is one of those super fun ones to get into. A, we're going to have to work on that here in a minute. Steve Eiserman. Philippe Myers. Capo Caco. Bernie Nichols. Sparkling Scripts Auto. Mark Andre Fleury, the math. And then we started out with a Senishin, Zach Senishin, 56 to 75 extra exquisite. Huge patch on that one. We finished off with a Steve Eiserman. Uh, what is that? What is that? It's hard to read. Black Diamond Gallery. This was fun. Hope everybody enjoyed it. We'll get these boxed up and they'll be on their way to you no later than Monday, along with anything else you guys pick up, uh, picked up in the latter half of this week. And, uh, and in uh, the next two or three days, let's break some cards. Hayden and I are in standby. Let's do it, boys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.